Today we're going to install a coil rad radiator. Massive thank you to Justin over at JNA Performance for supplying the radiator. If you guys need either a radiator or any Subaru parts, supplies, or anything, make sure to hit him up at JNA Performance. Put the link down below. Thanks again, Justin. The factory radiators are prone to either crack or seep around the crimping. They are <laughs> seep. <laughs> See, bitch. The uh, aluminum core radiator with plastic end tanks crimped on and around the crimping, it just fails. You know, the coil rad is a one piece aluminum welded, so there's no failure points on it. So I figured preventatively, mine's starting to show signs of seepage. So I might as well just replace it before it blows the fuck up. So, first things first, you're gonna jack up the car and start draining the coolant. Make sure the car is cold to the touch, otherwise, it's gonna burn like a bitch. First, once the car's up in the air, you gotta remove your under tray to get to your blower radiator hose as well as the Pet All right. <laughs> Broken one number. No, they typically break and you put zip ties there. Yes. <laughs> Tell them the truth. <laughs> Take a piece of hose. There's a little nipple on the pet cock. Pet cock's a What are you talking about? A little drain valve. Then you're going to open up the drain valve. And you're going to let it drain out. And then you come up top. And you pop your radiator cap off. The two hold downs right here. Yeet. Did a whole lot of nothing. Fucking sound like gunshots in the background. Put those in your nut cup. Pull these guys off, set them to the side. Now this is nice and loosey goosey. Take off your little little hose here. Boop. Then you're gonna want to take this hose off here. Gently pull that off. Set that to the side. Firmly grasp it. Firmly grasp it. Then go after the upper radiator hose. Be careful. There might still be coolant in top, depending on how much is drained out. Then you can remove your bypass hose, which we are gonna need to modify. We're gonna need to modify this hose for the coil rad, and it's the same thing for the Michi radiators as well. So pull this out of the can. Set this to the side. Take a 10 mil. Pull your expansion take off. We are reusing this, so do not break it. Cool. Don't not break it. Breaks it. Oh. Yay. Yay. Next, you're gonna go after your fans. There's two connectors. One on this side. And one on the other side. Once those are disconnected, then we just wait for it to drain out <laughs> and then we're gonna pull the lower radiator hose. What a great shot. Thanks, buddy. So option one was taking too long, so option two we're gonna drop the lower rad hose. Yeah. You get the majority of it. Yeah. All the memes right here, but I'm just gonna keep to myself. So now that that's all dumped out and draining, uh, we're just gonna let that drain a little bit. I'm gonna pull the radiator up, fish that out, and then we're gonna slap the coil in as well as the groom speed hose kit. Fish the radiator up. So far we have both hoses, hoses disconnected, the top clamps disconnected, the fans disconnected. Uh, I think I said that. And now you're just gonna be careful, especially because this is the power steering line. So I don't wanna disturb that. Otherwise I have to replace the O-ring, which you have super, you know about that. Now that you have the radiator out, you kind of just want to dump it into your pitch bin. Yeah, yeah all right. And now if you were just replacing the radiator, this is the point where you would put the new radiator in. However, I'm going a couple steps further. I'm replacing the upper and lower radiator hoses as well as the top swirl pot, the upper hose off as well as the lower hose and clean everything up. Like I said, if you're just doing the radiator, at this point you can throw your new radiator in, your hose is back on, top it off a coolant, you're good to go. What if it but, doesn't have fans on it though? Wouldn't they have to put the fans back on it? You gotta swap your fans over, which we're gonna do soon. Not only am I doing the hose kit, but I'm also replacing this swirl pot up here with the 2012 STI, which is the plastic one. It does the same job, it just looks, to me it looks a little better, it's more modern, so I just have to pop all the hoses off, swap everything over, and we'll get going. 
that guy. Ow. Ow. <laughs> yeah, but you got it. <laughs> Ow. Okay. Don't be bitch. Okay. So once that's removed, then you just take your new one, reattach everything. I think there must be better behind you. Thanks, man. They're cool. It's forward. No, they're grimming cool. Yeah, all right, just connect them. All right, and then just get it like that. I missed the little shelf you got with the metal one, though. The metal one, you had a little shelf to put stuff on. Yeah, you're not wrong. This is a radiator hose kit from Grimspeed. Um, this replaces the factory shitty hoses with some beautiful multi-layer fabric silicone happiness from Grimspeed. So we're gonna put this in now, we're gonna put the hoses on because it's a little bit easier, and then we're gonna go to the radiator, swap that over, swap that bitch in, and then pasta visual. Ready? Been ready. Take your lower hose. Yeah, all right, get on me. Now we're gonna go down there, tighten up those clamps, so we're good to go. Oh, hi! Oh, hi, buddy, how are ya? So this is the factory one with the fans on it. Now we're going to remove the fans and put them over to the coil. You dropped it. Dropped it again. So that's done. Then you're gonna take pick it up and put it in the car. Now that the radiator is in, throw your hose clamps on your upper and lower radiator hose, and then we're gonna go back. Cool it! Yeah. Nope, we gotta connect the fans. Then put the bolts back on. Boom, boom. Now we're gonna go do the lower, lower hose as well as put the fans back on, and then we're ready for coolant. Put it in the hole. Put it in the hole. Put it in the hole. Nice. Like I said, for the coils of the Mishis, you need to add a T fitting because now you have a cap, a radiator cap, as well as a spigot on the radiator itself. The factory doesn't have this, so the bypass comes from the overflow and goes right into the expansion tank. So you need to get a 3 8 or 5 16 barb fitting. Cut it right there. Like so. Put your bob in there. Then get yourself a little section of hose. Boats and hose. Like so. And that's it. You literally just need to see it in so that way all the expansion tanks work together. Then over here, this guy goes like so. And we're gonna cut him back a bit. Like so, like so. Now it's time to top out the coolant. All the hose clamps are nice and tight, and I'm using the Prestone 50-50 pre-diluted stuff. It doesn't really matter. Some people use the super stuff. It's really all the same stuff at the end of the day. Also, Ryan from 1320 told me to use this shit, so thanks, Ryan. Cool. Pro tip, fill it really, really slow, and you'll get less air bubbles. Or use the tool that they make for this so you get no air bubbles. Somebody wants to buy one for me. I feel it's slow. So now that the radiator's in, the hose clamps are on, the hoses are on, the other hoses are on, the T fitting's on, the, that thing's on, the caps are on. I topped off the radiator, put the radiator cap on. I have the expansion tank cap open right now. 
Now I'm going to start the car, watch coolant temperature on the Cobb Access 4 V3 and make sure it comes up to temperature, make sure it's all burped out and top off the tank and we're good to go. This part can get messy sometimes when it burps and we'll hope for the best. Yay. So that's it, got the coil rat in, the Grimspeed hose kit in, everything's burped and good to go. Like I said, I ran the Prestone 50-50, worked perfectly fine. The radiator's full, expansion tank is full. Easy way to burp these is just work with the expansion tank as you guys saw I was doing. And that's pretty much it. So massive thank you to Justin at JNA Performance for the radiator, as well as Grimspeed for the hose kit. If you guys want to purchase anything that you saw in today's video, in the description below. And while you're down there, comment, like, and subscribe. Yeah. Thanks so much for watching. Goodbye. Okay,